Max here. Hope you're all doing well. This time I wanted to try something a little different. More specifically, I wanted to make an accessory for my camera. This is the camera I used to film the tutorial part to all of my videos. The Canon PowerShot SX520HS, just in case you were wondering what model it was. So I keep finding myself having to remove a lot of space on my computer and finding out that it's really the camera that films these long video clips of me making something. And you know, sometimes when you're gluing, soldering, or whatever, you can't just constantly switch to starting and stopping, you know, it's just easier to be fully focused on making rather than focusing on the camera all the time. To cut to the chase, I wanted to make an Arduino based device with a servo motor pressing the record button and me being able to control that with a pressure plate or a push button sitting on the floor. So without further ado, let's make this camera accessory. So out of popsicle sticks, we're gonna make a wooden frame that sort of grabs onto the handle and holds all the hardware. First, we'll need to determine the distance between the two sticks which will be wrapping around the handle. To bend the popsicle stick, you'll need to lightly press down with your pair of snippers and then bend that point to create a curvature. Super glue on a connecting piece to both ends of the popsicle sticks that leans in towards the inner part of the handle. To fixate both curved parts, glue on a popsicle stick diagonally to the bottom one. On the side of the frame, glue on another connecting popsicle stick segment. Cut away any of the unneeded parts of popsicle stick. Next, add a screw tab reaching out to the nearest screw on your camera. Then we're going to figure out how to attach on a servo motor to this frame. Once the frame of our camera accessory is done, it's time to mount it onto the camera. To do so, we'll need to unscrew the current screw that's sitting in the screw port we want to use, and then stick in a longer one. Two seconds later. Oh well, that did not go as planned. Looks like I screwed up the screw. If this happens to you or you don't have access to a screw port, then just tie the frame onto where the camera strap would go through. After mounting on the servo motor with a couple of screws, attach on its servo arm with a little screw, which is what will come in contact with the record button. For the electronics, let's put the Arduino Nano into a small breadboard and push in three wires which will be connecting to the servo motor. The yellow signal wire goes to digital pin 9, the black wire goes to ground, and the red wire goes to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino. With a bit of double-sided tape, try to tidy up any of the wires sticking up. Using two rolls of 24 gauge wire, connect the red one up to digital pin 7 and the black one to ground on the Arduino. If your two rolls of wire weren't long enough, that's okay, just solder some additional wire long enough to touch the floor. Strip the ends of those two wires off and then add some soldering tin to stiffen them up a bit. Stick your push button into a breadboard and connect up the two wires to it. You can even add one of these flat push button knobs. Next, let's secure the battery under the frame using some velcro. On the breadboard, put in a tiny SPDT sliding switch, along with a couple of wires connecting to it. Connect one of the jumper wires to the Arduino's V-in pin and the other jumper wire to the battery's positive terminal. Then connect the negative battery terminal to the Arduino's ground. Make sure you place the switch so that it's not shorting any of the Arduino's pins. And we are almost done. All is left is the coating. Connect up your Arduino to your computer. 
open up the sketch to which I left a link to in the description to where you can download it. Check that you've included the servo library. If it doesn't go orange, then you can go to your library manager and you can install it from there if you don't have it yet. This part of the code is where we define the pins and their functions. Going deeper in the code here is where we tell the servo motor to move from a certain position to another position and then back with a slight delay. Just before uploading, check that you have Arduino Nano as your board selected and the COM port that you're using. Once the code is uploaded, you can check the serial monitor to see how it's working. Turning on the remote record button presser device, you can see when pressing the push button, it tells the Arduino to make the servo motor move about 45 degrees. Pushing on the record button. Now let's mount the camera with its new setup onto the tripod. With the push button on the floor and using my foot to press it, I can now start and stop recording. Now I'm able to control my camera while being fully focused on what I'm making. Okay everyone, so this has been my camera remote record button presser device and I could say it's pretty handy since I've already filmed one video tutorial using this setup and I do recommend it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd much appreciate if you hit that thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel with that bell on. Follow me on Instagram and if you really appreciate what I do, then feel free to donate to my Bitcoin wallet. There's a link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time. Peace!